Hey everybody, it's Chris. I'm gonna try to take a short video and show you my setup. I just I just put this together um, with the watering I'm doing. I uh, I needed something that could store a little more water. We have a we're on a well system here, and and I mean it makes plenty of water. I I think they're saying I'm at 15 or 20 gallons per minute on my on my on my house well. But it's also six, almost 600 feet deep, and uh, it cost me probably about $4,000 total with labor and, and pump if it goes out. So I went down Harbor Freight, picked this up. I think I paid 90 something dollars, 98 dollars for it with a 20% discount coupon. Um, if you need a coupon, let me know. I always have them. Um, you only need the numbers on the bottom of the coupon. I'd be more than happy to send it to you. But um, this is the pump. As you can see, it's off right now because I'm not drawing any water. Um, right here, this right here is the almost like the heart of the system. <laughs> Without that right there, you're not going to do much. That right there is called a check valve, for those of you that don't know. Um, a check valve will allow water to flow this way, but will not allow water to flow back. And uh, I totally forgot to put my check valve in the first time when I set it up. And uh, the pump, it kept cycling. I'm like, what the heck's going on? Couldn't figure it out. Um, then I, it dawned on me, oh, the pressure. What happens is the pressure builds up in the pipe. And uh, um, when, as soon as you turn off the pump, it flowed right back into the tank. And as you can see right here, this is a small 500 gallon tank. And uh, it wasn't holding the pressure. So that means the pump wouldn't shut off. Well, as soon as I put the check valve in, I, uh, um, I was able to uh, stop or hold that pressure right here at this point, And the pressure wouldn't go back into the tank and, and be lost. Therefore, the little tank here, that is, which is called a pressure tank, and you can see my little guy there. Where did he go? Uh, a little punk. Um, his name's Bones. Anyways, <laughs> this right here is a pressure tank. This little pressure tank is what creates and holds your pressure in, and it's a little storage. Um, it stores a little bit of water, but it also works with this pressure switch right here. Well, this is the pressure switch. This is the gauge. It holds at uh, 50, uh, I believe it's 50 gallons or 50 pounds PSI and it kicks on right around 30 PSI. So right now there's 50 PSI in this in this system and it's holding because of this check valve. But we're going to turn on the water and this is uh, just a, a hose I have set up to my system. I haven't clamped anything down yet because, like I said, I'm barely doing this. And if you watch, uh, don't know how well you can see it. The needle's going to go down as I start using water, and the pump's going to turn on. It usually takes a second or two, about nah, about 10 seconds. Once it gets down to about 28 gallons or 28 pounds, it'll kick on, and it's not very loud. I mean, for my standards, it's not very loud. There it goes. It just kicked on. Uh, I'm not sure how loud it is on the video, but, I mean, it, it's really not too bad. It's not an annoying sound. And like I said, I have, oh, 120, 160 feet of hose set up for on my tripod sprinkler. I use a tripod sprinkler mostly because I'm lazy. <laughs> and, and I haven't uh, gotten the irrigation set up on my grow field but um, anyways I just thought I'd show you I don't know how well you can see that tripod sprinkler um, seems how this is on my cell phone it won't let me zoom in um, maybe I'll take a picture of that later there's bones again um, but no I just this wind starting to pick up and this is the first time we haven't had 70 mile an hour winds in about three days. So I wanted to be able to show you. Eventually, this manifold here will be mounted up on top of here. But for right now, until I figure out exactly what I'm doing and how I'm going to do it, 
uh, I have a my preen bucket holding it up. But uh, no, I just like I said, I wanted to show you guys what I had set up and, and the water. I know there's been some questions about it. Uh, pretty easy. There's the hose. I haven't wedged in there so it don't fall out, but I have to fill it right now. I haven't been watering too, too much, but uh, I fill it probably three times a week at the most, which is a lot better than my house pump. I'd rather have this run, I'd rather have my house pump run less than this pump. I can spend a hundred bucks on a, on a on this small pump, and I, I mean, I can get 400 of these before I have to replace, um, before I'm up to the value of my house pump. So, I, I, I think I'm okay with this. Here's Buddy, he came to visit. Steve, Buddy's doing good if you see him. <laughs> and, uh, anyways, just like I said, just wanted to show you a short video. So, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. More than happy to help.